Today on Fashion Guide, a good start is the cornerstone of success. How the debutantes of the Mercedes Fashion Week in Almaty have proven themselves. A review of the minor catwalk shows. A large-scale show from the fashion designers of Asia and Europe. A celebration of fashion in the streets of Singapore. The trendiest summer looks from the Brazil Fashion Week designers. An amazing fashion solution for the beach and the office from designers in Japan. And precious clothes from a young brand from Estonia. Where is a young designer to get their start? Well, in the Kazakh fashion arena, newbies can get their first break from a contest for startup fashion designers, from a specialized trade show, or from a debut at a fashion week. A good starting ground is the minor catwalk of the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Almaty. Every season, young designers demonstrate their work in group shows of up to 10 looks per collection. The first brand to stage its show at the Fashion Week was Baxier. It belongs to the sister designers Balcomis and Meruert Yerlan. The sisters work with urban chic looks, displaying pieces with rather calm colors and cuts. Wraparound coats, simple dresses, straight cut pants and pencil skirts in azure, gray and black with such interesting details as origami applique fabric squares. Tolegin Batintaev is another debutante of the catwalk. He offers looks inspired by traditional Kazakh folklore and landscapes. Having earned a degree in architecture, he expresses his creative ideas with sophisticated lines and colors. Step Curves is the name of his collection. Peoples of the earth have different national aesthetics. Just compare the Japanese with the Swedes. So I started thinking, what was our aesthetic? Now have a look at the results of my experiment. This one is a transformation of the chapan, a traditional overcoat. A chapan is a kind of play of landscapes, just like the steppe itself. It changes its fixtures. It tells its own story, and if you want, you can tune in to the music it plays. Now look at these colorful things. This one is a step thing, too. The curves of the fabrics ideally set off a woman's figure, not speaking of the intended design. No doubt it is its beautiful functionality that earned Tolegin Batintaev's collection a storm of applause. The third debutante of the minor catwalk is Yana Mitlenko. She dared to charge into the uncharted territory of the local industry, that is, men's fashion, and succeeded. The designer chose a very original print pattern. Blue dolphins on pure white shirts and pants, thick coats and wool jackets paired with contrasting color belts, while the main accessory of the collection's look is a live clove pink. I was inspired by an Irish philosopher of aestheticism, Oscar Wilde. He was quite an interesting fashion figure, a dandy in his circle of society. He and his look became a primary source of inspiration for me. Another memorable debut at the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Almaty was a show by the Italian designer Andrea. This was only her second collection and her first ever fashion show. Her pieces are light-hearted, playful and somewhat ironic. Tutu skirts, purple satin costumes and overcoats, pink fur coats. Little red fish and delicate female hands with Chinese sticks were used as prints. A spectacular show in Singapore, the famous Orchard Road was transformed into a giant podium during the Fashion Steps Out show in 2015, which opened the six-week-long fashion festival on the island. The celebration started with the spring-summer collection shows by 13 local and overseas brands. 176 fashion models from various countries took part in the show. I'm a bit nervous because I have really high heels, but I think it will be really cool. It will look really cool with all the models and all the different brands. So I think it will be really nice. The event took place right in the middle of Singapore's bustling shopping district. The models walked along the 550 meters long podium, which turned out to be quite an unusual experience for many of them. The difference between modeling on stage and on the streets is that a model is more likely to be spotlighted on the stage with a lighting system. But there is no such thing on the street, so it is a totally new experience. Apart from the Singaporean designers, fashion auteurs from Israel, London, France, China, Hong Kong, Thailand and Indonesia had their shows at the event. Local designer Pauline Ning says that over the past years, the internet and new technologies have pushed Asian designers and Asian markets to a totally new global level. I think Asian designers are really getting a lot of more uh, attention and exposure to the international market. So, and like with, with 
this strong spurge of you know like um, Asian designers, I think Asia is, is really the next place to be, like you know, for fashion, like look out. The fashion festival was timed to coincide with the most important political event of the country, the 50th anniversary of Singapore's independence. Five Singaporean fashion designers created 50 special looks to commemorate the anniversary, which had a show of their own. Summer is soon to come, and it's time to figure out what we'll be wearing on vacation. The Sao Paulo Fashion Week designers offered their new versions of Beach Chic. The national brand Ellis struck the public with its use of unusual fabrics and accessories from Morocco. Handbags and jewelry recall the images of Berber carpets. The mix is a reflection on the look of an urban tourista girl in search of her own style. This collection was inspired by Morocco, principally Marrakesh, so it is a compilation belonging to a woman who goes traveling, collecting things from these places. Liana Thomas' collection, with the brand Agua de Coco, was a spectacular performance of tropical prints dancing to a dynamic soundtrack. The designer says that all her prints were handcrafted and that nothing was computer-aided. The audience was left in awe. I am from the Northeast. I came to see in person the great success of designers Liana and Rebecca, and I am very happy to see such a great quantity of very good fashion material. And I think that this really puts fashion from Seara, from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, in great esteem among all those who like the beach and beach fashion. The Fashion Week attendees were sure the collections they saw were crafted at the level of the most famous global fashion brands. The eclectic mix of fabrics and restrained necklines were some of the most memorable elements of the event. I thought the context was really great. There was a lot of lace and netting mixed with glitter and shine. Body suits too, there were lots of body suits, which I thought were really cool. Beach fashion reinvents itself, and year after year it grows to be more and more colorful. Brazil is truly the center of this segment of the world's fashion industry. Designers of the Japanese Quicksilver branch came out with their version of what beach wear might look like. They created a wetsuit for businessmen who like to surf before their office hours. A fashion film was shot for the launch of the ad campaign. As strange as it seems, or looks, the designers recommend to swim, or to be exact, to surf in a suit and tie. The brand has three options for men's wetsuits. Sewn of stretchy water and stain repellent fabric with the use of dry flight technology designed to dry before you go to work. The designers emphasize that each piece of their clothing is so comfortable that you can wear them every day. The product is still being developed, by the way, though one can bet that businessmen will appreciate the wetsuit. A fashion short film that motivates us to get active. That could be said of the new video for Better For It. It addresses the thoughts women have when doing their workout. Everyone can relate to the feelings girls experience in this short film. The fear of failure, self-doubt, body shame, comparing yourself to other people during workouts. Nevertheless, despite all odds, each one of them reaches their goal. Nike encourages girls to share their experiences with others and show how they play sports in social media under the hashtag BetterForIt. Clothes worth their weight in gold, or rather, silver. Estonian brand Rakovic storms the wardrobes of the world's fashionistas with dresses adorned with silver jewelry. The brand was established in Tallinn last year, and so far, only makes limited editions of its clothes. The print patterns and jewelry designs are developed in collaboration with artist Maria Posledova. The designers are completely sure that their works will always be fashionable. The dresses, complete with precious metal jewelry, will never go out of style, acquiring just a shade of time. They will turn into vintage elements of a closet to be passed from generation to generation. And that's all for today. Watch us next week to travel the world of fashion and style with Fashion Guide on the Kazakh TV channel.